Welcome back. 644 on Daybreak and the games are on in Tokyo even before the opening ceremonies tomorrow. And some teams are already going for gold. And as for our local athletes, some are there. Some will be leaving soon to go to Tokyo. Let's check in with Daybreak's Lauren Hall, who joins us this morning with some Olympic updates. Good morning, Lauren. Hey, good morning, Melissa. Good morning, Pete. We're going to start with your Team USA softball results from overnight. They beat Canada 1-0. That puts them at a 2-0 start in the games overall. Pitcher Monica Abbott threw a one hitter in the defeat of the third ranked team in the world. They hit the field again on Saturday for their next game, which will be against Mexico. And as for our local Olympians, we're also keeping track of their arrivals in Tokyo. Jesse Pagula touched down on Tuesday and then last night she appeared in a tweet from the USA Tennis Association with some of her fellow teammates and staff from the team. She's right here. They said that they were enjoying tasting the local cuisine. Now artistic swimmer and Western New York native Anita Alvarez, she's still stateside, but she's preparing to leave for her trip. Last night she shared on her Instagram stories that she was taking her pre-travel COVID test and then she posted on her Instagram grid that her competition is still 14 days away. Now earlier in the week she posted a very lengthy update processing some of her emotions from the Olympic qualifiers in Barcelona over a month ago. That's when she had that medical emergency in the pool. Part of this statement reads in quote, the support from back home in the US was felt immensely all the way in Barcelona, as well as the support from a lot of the artistic swimming community around the world in general. You can read this full statement on our website right now, WGRZ.com. And finally, Team USA volleyball player Matt Anderson. He hasn't posted to social media since he arrived in Tokyo, but one of his teammates is becoming quite the Olympic sensation on TikTok. His name is Eric Soji. He's from Hawaii and he's been sharing a ton of behind the scenes uh, videos of their practices, workouts and more. And if you look closely, you can probably find Matt in some of his content. His name on TikTok is The Libero. Very fun stuff to watch, guys. Their first game is Saturday against France.